Welcome. Today we are going to understand what is chaos theory and its principle butterfly effect. What is a chaos? Chaos is a random, unpredictable set of events or a behavior or a movements, etc. Day-to-day -day life is filled with a chaotic activity, be it people movement in the large cities, movement of trucks and traffics, weather patterns, and more. All these are chaotic random events where absolute prediction of the future is not possible. Chaos theory tries to understand and unravel the underlying pattern in this chaotic activities. What is opposite of a chaotic situation? A completely deterministic situation where you can predict the future. For example, compare a situation where you have only gravity or a only linear motion. And in that planet, there is nothing else to disturb that. If that is the situation, if you throw a ball, you can 100% sure that it's going to come down and land on a specific position. So this is a deterministic situation. Imagine the same ball is thrown on a planet where there's hundreds of other movements, other particles disturbing it. Will you be able to predict that? It is highly impossible. So that ball is thrown in a chaotic situation. Let us give you an, another example. So if you are in a neighborhood and if you observe only one person, you know exactly where he goes and comes. The next day you can more or less predict what that person is going to do. However, let's say you take a bird's eye view and observe the city where millions of people are moving around. Now is it possible for you to predict a particular person movement in the future? This is highly impossible. Chaos theory holds good in this chaotic situation. So what defines a chaotic situation? Patterns, interconnected behavior of components, fractals, repetitions, and finally feedback loop. Now there are a lot of terms which I have mentioned. It's very difficult for you to understand. If I give you a very easy to understand example, then you can understand all these components easily. Example of a chaotic system is a large gathering of a people in a city center. You will observe the following components. Factor 1 Underlying Patterns If you observe these large gathering of people, there will be an underlying pattern in their movement. Some will go to a very famous shop. Some will look for eateries. Some will look for transport. So there is an underlying overlapping pattern in this chaotic situation. Interconnected Behavior Movement of a people will affect the movement of other set of the people. Also. Uh, for example, if a security blocks a road in one set of a lane, it will affect the people in the other set of the line. So there is an interconnected behavior among the components. So one element directly or indirectly affects the another element in the same city center, even though they are distance apart. So this is factor 2, interconnected behavior. Feedback loop. For this, in the same city center, there are thousands of people living a big mart. So, there is a feedback going to the transport, for example, like auto or taxi. They know that the people will assemble here after the shopping. Therefore, the cars and taxis and autos will pile on a certain lane. So, there is a feedback system between these interconnected elements, which acts as a loop and gives information to one another. Factor 4. Repetition. There will be people moving on the same lane again and again. So, so certain actions are repetitive in nature in this chaotic system. Factor 5. This is fractal. So if you observe this chaotic system, which is the movement of the people in the city center, there will be a self-aligning or self-organizing factor which is hidden in this movement of patterns. This appears as a fractal when you look with a bird's eye view. Fractal by itself is a large concept which will be explained in the upcoming videos. Now in this chaotic system which I have explained just now, can you predict the movement of any particular person? This is highly impossible. Now this defines a chaotic system. I hope you would have understood it clearly with all the components. Similar to this, if you observe the nature, the nature gives us a lot of chaotic situation, chaotic system. Nothing in the world or on the nature that is 100% deterministic. So therefore, we are living in a chaotic system altogether. Therefore, having a theory to understand and given a deterministic approach to this 100% chaotic events 
is what we require. For instance, prediction of weather for a week. You know that weather is impacted by thousands of factors. As the weather system is a chaotic in nature, even though we have this chaotic situation, we would have depend on the weather forecast for to predict some information for the future. So this chaos theory is applicable to many science events and modern research. We are coming to one of the most discussed principle that is the butterfly effect. So this is one of the underlying principle of chaos theory. There is a famous metaphor from Edward Lawrence, which states that if there is a butterfly flapping its wings in Brazil, it will cause a storm in Texas. Is that really possible? Could be, but we cannot say for true because there are thousands of factors that is involved which will affect the weather. Flapping of wings of butterfly in one location might have triggered some intense chain reaction that would have caused something which affects the weather and finally which might have blown up a tornado in Texas. But the flapping of butterfly itself cannot help us to predict what is going to happen in the near future. Similarly, we can correlate with an another interesting example. Does an accidental burn of an image in a photographic plate stop the World War II? This question by itself is a very fascinating. Let's understand the events that whether this comes under the butterfly effect. Approximately around 50 years before the World War II, there was a research scientist called Henry Becquerel. He discovered that image in the photographic plate which is wrapped and kept under the dark drawer was burnt because there was a crystal that was lying in the drawer. Later he came to know that there was a radioactivity which is present in that crystal which have burnt the image. This point of discovery aligns with one of the principle of butterfly effect which is sensitive to the initial incident. After this radioactive discovery, there was series of innovations, inventions and then a lot of theses and scientists worked together to create an atom bomb. This process continued for 40-50 years and finally this atom bomb was dropped in Japan and ultimately the Axis power came to the knees. Therefore, this ended the World War II. Now, can we say that that small incident has stopped the World War II? Could be. This can be an example of a butterfly effect. Similarly, many things happen in the world. Something very small happened somewhere hundreds or thousands of years before. That could be the reason for a happening today. However, you cannot say for sure at that point of incident that this will happen in the future. So therefore, this defines one of the principle of chaos theory and butterfly effect that you cannot predict a future event in this complete random and chaotic situation based on a single event that is happening today. However, there can be series of events triggered by this single event. The famous phrase, everything happens for a reason, is one of the theological interpretation of the butterfly effect. So this chaos theory is an interesting concept. Now what we have in the modern world as a tool to unravel this chaos theory, we have machine learning. So this machine learning can learn the historical patterns from the data. So you can collect data from the chaotic systems such as a large scale CRMs or a traffic movements or a, even an event of nature like occurrence of earthquakes. And this historical data can be analyzed by the machine learning. So this machine learning is one of a tool which we have to unravel what is happening in this difficult randomized chaotic world. We will talk about how machine learning can unravel the chaotic system in the upcoming videos. Hope you find this video informative. Please provide the feedback, subscribe and encourage us to give you more interesting topics. Thank you.